heroes, questers, adventurers of all kinds, welcome to the Roguelike Rumbles! <laughs> welcome to the Champions Cup match! <laughs> Delighted. Delighted to have you all here. Now, we're going to go over a few things, um, but first things first, we are going to do the first thing of all combat, which is roll for initiative. In order to do that, I must introduce you. If you haven't already caught my name, I am Lady Destiny, the Sorceress Supreme. Thank you, thank you. You are now at my rumble. But this is not my tavern. The owner of the tavern is running to the back. He's a, dr he's a fearsome dragonborn who's about to reveal himself. Ooh. The owner of the roguelike tavern, every adventurer's favorite tavern, is, of course, Magnus Bolt Thrower. And he's going to introduce you to our heroes and get some initiatives rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Roguelike Tavern. Let's hear it for Lady Destiny. Uh, just by a quick round of applause, who's been to a Roguelike Rumble before? And who's, who, who is coming to their first Rumble tonight? All right, love to see it. So uh, Lady Destiny will explain more of the rules as we get going, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to have our brave adventurers roll for initiative. I see some fami familiar faces up here, of course, because this is the Championships Cup. And we're going to start right here with the Rat King. Rat King, do you have anything to say to your adoring fans? Adoring fans, I'm the Rat King. <laughs> I'm a drow swarm keeper ranger. Ooh, ooh. Uh, and you should root for me because um, I'm sexy and it's gonna be fun up here if I'm up here. So like, keep rooting for me. <laughs> All right, Rat King, it is time to roll for initiative. Nice and low on the floor so you don't destroy anybody's drinks. A five. Do you have a modifier? Plus two, that's seven, right? Yeah, that's seven. Yeah, okay. All right. Next up, we've got the Little Drummer Boy. Little Drummer Boy, do you have anything to say to your fans? Hey, icons. You already know who it is. It's the Little Drummer Boy, LDB. Yeah, LDB, I forgot how to spell momentarily. Yeah. I'm a halfling bard, and you should cheer for me because I am a bard. I will not survive if I am up here alone. So, uh, And guess what? If I win, I get a record deal. What? I wasn't told about the record deal. I'm not funding that. All right, little drummer boy, time to roll for initiative. <laughs> 16, do you have a modifier? 20, a dirty 20. All right, next up we have Kaya. What do you have to say to your fans? Hello everyone, I am Kaya Leafletter, gnome, drunken master monk of the Endless Elms Brewery. Excited to be here at the Roguelike Tavern tonight. You should always cheer for me because as always, I am a gnome of the people and I stand for worker solidarity. All right, Kai, it's time for you to roll for initiative. 18, modifier. Oh, ho, ho, we got a 23. And last, but certainly not least, we have Birch. What do you have to say to your fans? Well, hi, yeah, I'm Birch. Uh, I'm, I'm a satyr druid. Uh, and why you should vote for me? Um, I think everyone should have a good time, and rooting for everyone is a good time. Yeah. yeah. Well said. Well said. Roll for initiative. Five plus your modifier. That's eight. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let the heroes get into the order in which they rolled, and we will be back to start the rumbles very, very soon. In the meantime, buy some drinks, buy some food. We've got, uh, we've got Rachel and Cameo in the back there. Make sure you're taking care of them. And we will be back with the Rumble very, very soon. So in case you didn't catch that order, that's going to be Kaya, Little Drummer Boy, Birch, and Rat King. 
assemble yourselves. And the rest of you, keep questing. We'll uh, get you intro to this game in just a few minutes, but we're going to leave you a few more minutes for questing and uh, letting the
Welcome to the Roguelike Rebels! So once again, I am Lady Destiny. I'm your Sorcerer Supreme. You are all at my event, and we're so delighted to have you here. Uh, but we do, of course, have to thank our hosts with the most, the Roguelike Tavern. Oh, come on, you can do better than that for the Roguelike Tavern. There we go. And tonight, the reason you're all here free is Ardbeg Whiskey. The reason you didn't have to pay to get in is Ardbeg Whiskey. There we go. I'm bringing the Eldritch Blast. And if you drink any of the drinks on the sponsor cocktail menu, you'll get double the tokens, double the fun. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, Lady Destiny gets more whiskey. Because you all want my math to get worse, I promise. Uh, so, how many of you have ever been to a roguelike rumble before? Brilliant. How many of you have never been to a roguelike rumble before? Oh my goodness. Welcome, virgins. We're delighted to have you here. Uh, we're going to just pop your cherry. Uh, those of you... I uh, hear those go good in an old-fashioned, uh, which goes good with whiskey, which goes good with our bag. Um, just got to plug the sponsor. Hey, we are live on Twitch tonight as well. Yay! Hi, Twitch. Here's hoping we won't get raided, because I will not be paying attention to the comments. Um, so good luck. Uh, those of you who have never been to a Rumble before, how many of you play D&D? &D? Oh my god. Those of you who have never been to a Rumble before, how many of you do not play D&D? Killing it! All right! Welcome! This is Improv Comedy with Math. We'll do the math. You don't have to worry about it. But the long and short of it is, what makes the Roguelike Rumble special is this is a PvP battle royale. So our four heroes before have all each won their own Rumble already. These are champions. Look at them. This is what champions are made of. Killing it. Uh, and tonight, they're competing to see who will be the champion of champions and take home the very impressive Champions Cup. Ooh, look at it. So huge and impressive. No, it does. Exactly. It's exactly what you do with the cup that... Anyway, um, think about that later. So here's the deal. At our Rumbles, you can interact with the game. So some of you have already been questing. You'll have earned advantage coins. If you haven't given those to the heroes already, don't worry, you'll have a chance. Uh, but they'll be able to use those to roll with advantage, because again, we're playing with dice and it's math. So they'll get to roll twice and pick the better one. And then if you've been drinking cocktails of any kind, but particularly the sponsor cocktails, anyone traded for health potions or layer actions yet? Yay! Health potions are straight up three hit points. They can use those and stack them up and drink them all at once and get as many hit points as that adds up to. Uh, and then layer actions are gonna be individualized actions that I determine that can help or hurt the heroes as you request. So when you have layer actions, you're gonna bring those straight to me. Got it? All right. And last but certainly not least, these are hungry, hungry heroes and we do need to pay our adventurers, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you direct tip the business, we'll give you a magic item and a button. The magic item will go to the heroes and the button will go to you. Yeah. And trust me, you want these magic items because I tailor them specifically to the map and the other competitors. Yeah, yeah. Somebody in fact already paid me a lot of money to get a very specific magic item on the table, so yay. I think that's just about it. Are you all ready to rumble? Yeah. Hell yeah. Then without further ado, you all descend in a secret chamber hidden behind a wall in the roguelike tavern. You descend some spiral stone stairways. And as you descend, the air gets colder and the scent of rust and blood begins to rise from rumbles before. Because this is, of course, a battle to the death. We have our finest clerics and paladins on hand to resurrect the heroes when they are finished. Those are not the clerics and paladins, just FYI. Those are the round boys. <laughs> we gotta earn that. You no, no, no. You guys can tip more for that. I don't set that price. Uh, anyway, as you descend and you uh, smell the scent of the arena rolling off the stone floors, you all arrive in the massive hidden underground uh, arena, which is the roguelike Rumbles Arena. And tonight, it is set up very differently than you've ever seen before. Maybe a little less complicated 
than you've seen before. Yay! Yay. <laughs> but don't be deceived. Whoa. It's R2D2. Um, yeah, hopefully that doesn't get us in trouble with the uh, Twitch streamers for like sponsored content. Anyway, uh, what you see before you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. It's it's 66. I didn't ask Little Drummer Boy earlier. There we go. And Birch, you are not at 52. You are at 78. 78. You might want to make sure your mics are on there, my friends. Uh, anyway, as you all see, a magical darkness cloaking the arena. It un unveils a simple wooden floor with four columns. Now, heroes, this is not where you arrive. No, you're going to decide that dependent on your initiative. So, Kaya, where would you like to begin the battle? I would like to begin in the bottom left corner, let's say. Uh, which, which corner? Uh, bottom left, please. Thanks. There it is. All right, little drummer boy, where do you want to begin? As far away from that mountain as it could possibly get. So, top right corner, yeah. got it. Uh, Fair enough. Birch, where would you like to begin? We both have oh, short I'll legs. I'll do a respectable right middle, close to the little drummer boy, but not quite there. Like here? A little further to the right. Yeah, like that. Perfect. And Rat King, where would you like to begin? I don't know, did you turn it on? We, we love when we start a battle with a dead battery. Hang on. I don't I, want to start the battle dead at all. Oh, thank God. I was like, I gave them to Eldritch Snack, our helper. Ow, ow! Where are you starting, Rat King? Um, I'm going to start seven left, so opposite version. Okay, great. Hell yeah. Formation. Go with Are we about to dance? And so with that, we are going to begin round one! Thank you, round boy. Oh, Papillon, killing it with the numbers. Love that. This is going to be fun. Kaya, you're first up to go. What would you like to do? Well, I know why we're here. So, uh, how far am I from Birch? Uh, from Birch? Five, ten, like, like more than a hundred. Amazing, good for me. Um, well... I am going to run my 40 feet first toward oh, Birch. Oh, you're right at 90. So you're going to run 40 towards Birch? Yes. You got it. 5, 10, 15. I don't know what she's doing. And you are out of my... Actually, you know what? That's, that, I'm going to just take the dodge action now and just sort of see what's happening. People are far from me. You're going to take a dash action? Uh, what would you say? Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, no, I'm actually just gonna throw my dart. You got it. All right, throw a dart. So I'm throwing my dart at Birch. I'm looking at you with doe eyes currently. You're adorable, and I'm sorry about this. Ah! That's probably not gonna hit you though. That's a twelve. Not quite, but it's one out of them. I appreciate that. I do. A dart whizzes past one of Birch's antlers. It doesn't hit. Um, cool. Well, I have another attack. <laughs> Great. You're going to throw another dart? Yep. <laughs> Kaya takes aim again at the sad, doe-eyed deer staring her down. So sorry. <laughs> I assume a 13 doesn't. Oh, wait, no. Uh, a 15. A 15 just misses. It raises my antler, but doesn't quite hit it. And then I will say, your confidence seems to be getting better. Good job. We're doing it together. Woo! And that's my turn. Great. Little drummer boy, it's your turn. From the far right corner, what would you like to do? Woo. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, uh, I kind of want to go this way to get closer to the rat king. Okay. Not too close, but like close enough that they can hear me. So you're like 30 feet of movement. Sure, yeah, let's, do you think they can hear me from there? Probably. It's an empty arena and the fans are not making a lot of noise at this very moment. Okay. Good listeners. Hey, Rat King, you smell like ass. Whoa! And 
I cast Vicious Mockery. <laughs> well, yeah, I smell like ass. I'm from the sewer. I can't, that's what I want. <laughs> it was so wonderful. Was that Vicious Mockery? Yes. Heck yeah. Not just mean words, magically mean words. I rolled a 19, baby. You can't piss me off that way. Hey. Start getting into the emotional stuff and then maybe you have a chance. It rolls off the Rat King like oil off a rat's back. They are proud of the stench. Hideous. Anything else from you, LDB? I'm just gonna hang out. Cool, cool, cool. Birch, you've had two darts miss past your head. What would you like to do? Okay, all right. So I've been, I, so then the um, people might not know is that I have been um, working on being more confident and, and being proactive rather than reactive. Uh, so that's why I'm going to look at um, Kaya, who's been able to keep it up. Shoot. Oh. How, long, how big is it? Let's take a look. Yeah. Uh, I am so small I could uh, get swept away by a lot. It's 30 feet long. Does that reach the rat king? <laughs> Shit, it hits me exactly. Uh, fuck. exactly 30 feet away. Oh boy. 10 feet high. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need all of you to make um, a dexterity saving throw. Okie dokie. You know? We'll see how I roll. It's a 15 you're trying to hit. Um, I'm already going to use one of these. I rolled a two. So. Right. Pass what? that down. That was an advantage coin that the Rat King has played. Ooh, thank you, sponsors. Thank you. I rolled a 26. Oh, okay. That was a 19. That's much better. Oh, plus five. So, uh, uh, 24? 26. <laughs> Spectacular. Okay. What kind of damage is that from you? That'll be bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Ouch. All right, you've got an 8 and an 8, that's a 16, plus 5 is 21, plus 6 is 27, so half of that yeah, is better. 13. Woo! Can you get me round up? I don't know how it That's my boy! <laughs> it's water! Spectacular. Anything else from you, Birch? to wild shape into a giant snake. Yeah. Fantastic. So you all see as uh, the druid on the floor transforms into a massive giant boa constrictor. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I use my movement to head towards uh, LDB. All right, how far are you going? I am about 40 feet away from the snake. All right, we can get you right next to the drummer boy. And with that, Birch, you've done the first damage of the battle! Hey. Woo! So much for being the sweet one. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yay! Anything else from you before we get the Rat King? That's me. All right, Rat King. You've got a snake on the floor now. <laughs> Snakes eat rats, dude. You know that, right? That's so fucked of you to do. <laughs> he might swallow you. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna summon some fucking lions. Hell yeah! So for those of you unaware, uh, the Rat King, in fact, has a magic item. What's the name of it again? Uh, gold, the Golden Lion. They're like statues, the Golden Lion statues. Oh. Or some shit, yeah. And so the Rat King summons forth two massive lions. Do they have names tonight? They've never had names, baby. Cool. I name my rats, I don't name my lions. Lion 1 and Lion 2 appear, roaring majestically. Uh, that's like all I've got. I guess I'll take like a step or two back. Yeah, take me back 10 feet. You got it. Perfect. The Rat King heroically backs up. Fuck yeah, baby. That's what made me win the last time. I, I love a coward's game. 
Anything else from you, Rat King? No, but my lions are gonna go after me. Fantastic. What would you like your lions to do? They're gonna, I think that they're, oh shit, how fast do they move? Uh, probably not to Little Drummer Boy without a dash from one lion, but you could definitely get to Kaya. No, me and Kaya, we're rocking with Kaya. Um, oh, yeah. actually, I lied. This one can exactly get there. In wow. 50, 5, 10, 15, 20, we 25, 30, me. 35, 40, 45, 50. The other one will be just out of distance. Would you like Lion 2 to run over there anyway? Yeah, get his ass over there, but kind of out of the way of the other one, like behind, like towards me. Yeah, yeah, perfect. You got it. Um, so I guess I'm gonna pounce. Oh. I'm gonna pounce a little. Go Lion! Boy. Technically that's Lion 2. Lion 2 is gonna pounce. Alright, and that's gonna be a strength check, little drummer boy. Alright, that's gonna be a boy. What is the drummer boy trying to beat? A 13, so you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a 7. That was a seven? Yeah. All right, fuck yeah. Uh, so the lion tackles the little drummer boy to the floor and does any damage? I'm in danger. It's gonna do 10 damage. Hell yeah. All right, and then I'm gonna claw you as well. I'm allowed to do that after I pounce. Don't look at me like that. It's not gonna hit. Thank God. <laughs> but I believe after the pounce you're not prone if it hits you. Yes, so the little drummer boy is on the floor with a lion roaring over him. <laughs> That's what the lion sounds like. Cool. Oh, Ooh, that's fair. Prune has advantage. Oh, on the cool claw. point from a sidelines DM. Rat King, you want to roll for that claw attack again? Yeah, fuck it. You're a rat. <laughs> I think that's gonna hit. How much damage does the lion strikes out? It's gonna do six. Nice. So the little drummer boy is prone, takes some pounce damage and a slash of the lion's claws. Is that it from you, Rat King? Yeah, that's it. Heck yeah, that's the end of round one. So, woo! Little drummer boy prone on the floor. In this moment of pause, audience, do any of you want to bring up any rewards or sponsorships? If you have lair actions, health potions, if you want to bribe me to get magic items for your heroes, now is the time. Come on up. I love things. Thank you. I get yeah. Thank you. Oh, hi, darling. If you just got a magic item, come back to me for your button. If you just got a magic item, come back to me for your button. Magic items, come back to me for your button. I forgot to give both the magic items their buttons. Thank you. Brown shirt, brown shirt. Hell yeah, give me two seconds. Brown shirt, come back for your button. Someone else gave a magic item. Green shirt, hey, that's for your magic item. That's for you. That's what's for you. That's for you. All right, five, four. You'll be able to do this in between all rounds. I have two. Hello? You want to go ahead? You got one. You got two. Thank 
All right, any last rewards before we're going to move on? first is what I'm going to do. I love that. I love that. All Good right. Plan. I'm going to run first 40 feet toward the little drummer boy. I believe that doesn't get me quite there. What the fuck did I do? It's going to get you right there. Well, we're going to step of the wind. All right. What does step of the wind get you? A uh, dash, please. To all the way to the drummer boy? All to, all to little drummer boy. You got it. And then going to pull out my trusty tankard. Woo and at advantage. Sorry, babe. Are you hitting the drummer boy or the snake? Uh, the, the drummer boy. All right. There's a snake next to me. Um, you get advantage because drummer boy is prone. Uh, 23. Yeah, that is. That is 16 bludgeoning damage. Whoa. And uh, can I please get a constitution saving throw? The monk takes a vicious whack at the little drummer boy with her massive tankard. This is a way of the drunken master monk. Perfect for a bar. Woo! That's going to be a 19. That will save. God. Does that mean drummer boy is not stunned? They are not stunned. Uh. So uh, I believe I do have a little bit more movement. And I'm just going to skirt around to the other side of the lion's. We'll see cool. how that goes for me. Like between them? Yep. Between the lions. You got me. We'll see how this goes. I may have made a terrible mistake, but I'm trusting my friend the Rat King. Fair enough. Anything else from you, Kaya? That is me. Thank All you. All right, little drummer boy, you're prone. Oh, wait. I'm yeah. actually an idiot. I get two attacks. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll pretend Red you on. didn't move, and you're just going to hit the little drummer boy again. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm just a humble little bard, okay? Uh, 22. Yeah, that is. Um, uh, only nine bludgeoning. Also, as, uh, as the monk moves away, does that trigger an opportunity attack for It does. Guys? I'm so sorry. Go ahead. It, it will. We were retconning the movement, but the movement's uh, going to yes, happen now. Go ahead. Take that attack. I'm going to try to bite with my sneaky fangs. Okay. Woo. Oh God, where are my D20s? <laughs> Can I borrow a D20 from oh, yes. you? Oh, oh no. Pocket. Got it. They're important. All right. That was not good. Does a 12 hit you? It does not hit me. All right. So my I sneak back between the lions. All right, and that is my turn now. Nice. Little drummer boy, you've been wailed. You've been pounced on. You're next to a snake. What do you want to do? The snake is the most trustworthy person right now. That is accurate. Yeah. Upsetting. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to pull this out yet, but we're right here. So one of my hit songs from my EP, Thunder Wave, level three. Nice! <laughs> Little drummer boy rips on a mad drum solo in the middle of the fight. That's going to be a constitution saving throw. Uh, amazing. Maya and the lions. Amazing. I'm going to use one of Rat my king. Advantage. Yeah, what's up? You got to make saves for your lions. Uh, I'm going to use an advantage coin. You got it. Let's see if this is any better. Uh, does a 16 save? It does not. Oh! Ooh. Hold on then. The air of Phil Collins gets you. 
I mean, I feel like perhaps. No, actually, no, we're good. I'm, yep. You're going to hold it? Yep, hit me. Rat King, how about the lions? Shit, I didn't have the save box. I didn't have them for any one sec. I'm, I'm working on it. All right, what save are we making? Is it a dex? It is a con. Con? Fuck. All right, one of them made an 11. I'll say that's line one. And the other one did 13. Both of them fail. Fuck. So again, this but righteous drum solo rolls out from the floor. Goodbye, everyone. And as a thunder wave strikes across the battlefield, ripping through the monk and the two lions, but somehow not affecting the snake, because it's an ally? Yes. No. Uh, that's that's going to be 13 points of damage, and everybody gets pushed 10 feet away. Ooh. Ow. My lions look like they're exactly halfway to being dead. <laughs> oh, that didn't yeah. affect you. Hang on. That just affected the lions. As they are pushed 10 feet back. Kaya's pushed 10 feet back. Everybody's 10 feet back away from the little drummer boy who is still prone. Would you like to use your movement to get up? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. The little drummer boy is no longer prone. Yay! Yeah, I'm on a blue one. And then... Hey, Birch, you lovely, lovely snakes. <laughs> Birch, you slay. You got so much confidence. Brah, what? Bah. Bo, 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 bo. Oh, I think the I, the snake does its best impression of a bra, which sounds like a <laughs> And you got bardic inspiration. Yay. Yay. You know what? That is a really good album. I like it. Yeah, coming soon, if I win. Ooh, that's, that's on the EP. <laughs> Ready to drop any minute. Anything else from you, little drummer boy? Do I still have movement, or is it all my movement? Uh, half your movement to get up. OK. Um, then I'm going to go behind the snake. <laughs> you got it. Wonderful. Nice. Birch, the snake. Hello, it's me. I'm a snake. Uh, no. <laughs> I do have I I do have a question. Yes. Uh, which is for um for magic items, are they an action if they're wearable to equip them? Uh, they they are usually a bonus action to throw on. Bonus action to equip. Well, I suppose I will um equip my <laughs> my cool as hell anti stun shades. My little snake tail <laughs> comes around <laughs> and puts them on my snake eyes. <laughs> I don't That's have a graphic cool for that. <laughs> Just picture this is a really cool snake with some really cool shades on. Yeah. Starts kind of falling Damn, that snake animal. looks dope. <laughs> don't ask questions. They're magic sunglasses. It can definitely sit on the snake's head super good. I also get a plus two to charisma because I look stunning, as it says. Stunning. Stunning. You're welcome. I make some pretty cool magic items in my spare time. Stunning. And um, then I'm going to uh, slither my way over to Kaya uh, on the top part there. Uh, and Looking up at the snake at seven over. times my height. <laughs> it's a very large snake. I am going to take my action to try to constrict uh, Kaya. That is a melee weapon attack. Plus Plus six to hit. So oh, I am also honor bound to tell you my HP currently is 60. Cool. Hang on. <laughs> I'm going to start making notes of this like I should have last time. You uh, were at 78. You are now at 60. Does a 19 hit you? The 19 will hit me. All right. That is going to be 2d8 plus 4 damage. Ah! Uh, 10, 14 damage to you. Uh, and you are grappled, but on your turn, you can try to get out of it. Uh, I wrap my snaky body in the midst of these uh, lions all around Kaya, and you hear a little bit Ooh. of an apologetic and yet somehow also confident. You know what? No, that's fair. That's entirely fair. That's fine. I like how you've chosen the most audible animal to be right now. <laughs> Just 
Really good vocal creature. <laughs> yes, good. It has so many vocalizations. It does, it does. Variety from the snake. <laughs> That's my turn. Excellent. Uh, Rat King. There's a snake grappling. It looks so cool, though. <laughs> it looks super sick, but like, ugh. Uh. So what I'm going to do, I've been thinking, and I'm going to actually do something really cool on my turn. I'm going to summon another Ooh. fucking creature. <laughs> I'm gonna summon my big fucking rat. Yeah. Amazing. And I'm gonna summon it right next to Little Drummer Boy. I love that. <laughs> it's any spot I can see, I can see you. I'll go right over there. So, uh, I did a really cool thing where I forgot to put your rat on the map, so Bro, two that's seconds. My, that's my whole thing. No, man. don't worry. I, I got it, I got it. It's all right. <laughs> That's a big rat. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everybody oh knew God. what it was. It's, it's a rat. Oh, and, uh, they said little drummer boy. Next to LGB, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Next, yeah. next to uh, the yeah. drummer boy. There we go. Okay, yeah. great. This map. Uh, <laughs> this oversized small one. I don't really know. Is it a small creature? I assume. Um, I. Uh, um, it's a land creature. It's my bestial spirit. Is okay, what it cool. Is. So it can be oversized. It's, it's a bestial it's, spirit. It's flavored Relax. rat. Flavored rat. So that's pretty. Oh, it's a small beast. Yes, small beast. Great, great, great. Um, but that's gonna be my turn since that's the only damn thing. Oh, I have a bonus action. You sure do. What would you like to do with your bonus action? I'm gonna put on my brooch of brooding. Ooh, your brooch of brooding, what does that do? A deep crimson jewel, it matches my outfit. Antiqued in silver filigree, when worn, this brooch imbues the wearer with an attitude of a sexy, oh, sorry, I added sexy. Uh, attitude of a, mis a mystery and melancholy, kind of in a sexy way. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a reluctant So like, like a Mr. Darcy kind of happening. It, was I not giving that already, though? It's extra. It's extra now. It's extra sexy and brooding now. And I have a plus two to charisma. Because you needed it. Yeah, Is that all from you, Rat King? That's going to be all for Rat King. What are your lions going to do, Rat King? Yeah, of course. My lions are going to... One of them is going to hop right over to Little Drummer Boy. There we go. Was that 20 feet? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Sure. All right. He's going to pounce again. Great. Okay, so you're gonna have to make a strength save of 13. You got this. <laughs> Thanks, Birch. You got this. Oh. Uh, the lion pounces. That's a 16. Oh. Yeah, you save. Alrighty, and then the other lion is just gonna go, it's gonna go right over next to the snake. I do wanna know it's an ally. Okay, so you're yeah. flanking. I'm flanking. Great, great, great. Um, Technically, since I'm around Kaya, I'm super anyway. friends with this lion. Yes, that, that is the idea. Wait, are you Love flanking it. or are you slanking? Ooh, no. No, I'm not. Anyway, I'm just going to claw your arm. I'm going to bite Let's you. Let's call it, you know, just the pride thing. Oh, shit. Um... Snake flanking, Ooh. obviously. That's no good. Am I, am I, I'm flanking, though, so I get advantage. That's not fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a little yeah, better. 17? That'll definitely hit my snake. Okay. Are All you right. trying to get the snake, or are you trying to get Kaya? Oh, the snake. <laughs> the snake. Oh, well, then you're not flanked. Are, are you alive with Kaya? Is I'm it? sorry. I lost track of who was Is alive with who. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I'm not flanking, that's No, no, no. You're flanking. Win. You're flanking. Okay. I thought, I thought you were attacking Kaya. No. I, I misunderstood. You're attacking the snake. Got I'm attacking it. Attacking that fucking snake. So then it's not flanking. It's manking, because it's monk flanking. All right, we're done with those ones. Uh, it's gonna be seven points of damage. I take seven damage. Wow. The snake takes seven damage. My tawny yeah. scales look a little duller. <laughs> Your tawny scales and onyx eyes. Yes, exactly. And I. Have raven hair Ooh. and a cool OC Sona. Yeah. Okay, it's a really hot snake with hair and sunglasses. Ooh. Cool. 
Anything else from you, Rat King? No, that's going to be it. All right, that's the end of round two. <laughs> Any rewards to bring up? Any rewards? Please, see the boys if you'd like to make any trades. Help, no, I don't boy. Help me. Help him. There, you're getting oh, some help. Thank you, thank you. Help what is, him. What is, what is your rat? A big ass rat? Yeah. What, is that going to be your spirit? So can you move or is it like, you can it is, okay. Is it like in here? I love you, Jack. It's great making things so Five, four, three, two. It's now the start of round three. <laughs> killing it, killing it. I don't know how it's for y'all, but it's pretty good for me. Top of round three, Kaya, what would you like to do? It was on, it was on, you're good. First thing is I'm going to drink one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight healing potions. Oh, you're at 20 health. That makes sense. That's why I needed the eight. Uh, so that's 24, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm at 44 now. Kyle, like a frat boy on a bender, guzzles eight health potions, one right after another. Trained in the breweries of the endless elms. I am good at nothing if not chugging. I, I know we're enemies right now, but like mad respect. Respect. Um, all right. Uh, yes. Yes, exactly. I do. hundred percent. I get a stick Just of tape bottle. Stick to a stick. Um, all right. And well, there's a snake grappling me, so I'm attacking the snake. Am I flanking uh, with the lion? Uh, I is I the lion believe... your friend? The lion uh, is my friend. Oh, yeah. Then yes, you are slanking. I will say you are Stop. slanking. You are also restrained. You are I'm restrained. sorry to say. Can I use yet another? <laughs> Do you have to? You have to try to fight off the grapple. So yes, you can use advantage to roll okay. that. What? What did they have? Uh, what did she have to hit? It's to, uh, a DC 16 dexterity. Ooh, dexterity. Okay. You got this. So I'm going to try to get out of the grapple. Looking like Britney Spears in a music video. Kaya, um, that's a uh, 23. A oh, you're absolutely out of there. Woo! Kaya throws like the snake Like a off. tiny little gnome, I sneak through the snake. Uh, can I attack still? No? Yes, maybe? Uh, uh, was that? I'm not sure of the action economy on this. I'm going to be honest. This is the first time I've constricted someone. Cool! 
then we're going to say yes, since you don't know. Amazing, yeah. I'm attacking then. Uh, I'm going to sneak around to flank with the lion, though. Quiet from the DMs in the front. This is my game. Might I, might I flank with the lion, Lady Destiny? Am I flanking with lion, Lady yes, Destiny? Yes, you're, fl you're Amazing. slanking as we I am <laughs> slanking as it were. Uh, all right. At advantage, tankered to the face, hopefully. To the snake. Yes, natural 20. Woo! Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Somehow it doesn't knock the sunglasses off. 14 bludgeoning damage. Very good. And uh, can I get a constitution saving throw? Uh, is it a stunning strike? It is, oh, I'm immune to stunning. Never mind then. Uh, well, I'm attacking because of you. Because the super cool sunglasses. I, the the sunglasses the reflect into my eyes and I do not stun you, but I'm going to try to attack you again. Very fair. It's almost as if I put in specific You won't magic believe items. it, it's another natural 20. Yeah! Oh, that super is. Hell yeah! I let out a of disbelief. It was on the other die if it makes you feel better. Uh, that is um, 12 bludgeoning. Nice. So the snake takes two massive blows to the face with a tankard. Uh, but it is not stunned. No, uh, I am going to just scooch around to the other side of snake across from the lion. Uh, just so I'm a little bit farther away from little drummer boy. Copy that. Anything and else? that's my turn. Great. Little drummer boy, you've got a rat and a lion. But you are not knocked down. Wow. Lions and rats and bears. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, uh, and snakes. Oh, my. There we go. There you go. Uh, okay, okay. He contemplates his next single dropping. Yes. I would like to use pyrotechnics. Nice. Okay. To try to blind the lion and the rat. <laughs> Describe to me what this looks like. Because I don't have a graphic for that. <laughs> so basically, he starts doo 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 boo! And then there's just like an explosion. And then okay. both of them have to do a constitution saving throw, right? Yes, constitution saving throw. Roll for your rat and your lion. Holy shit, they both failed. Then they are both blinded. Oh. Blinded by the drummer. All right, okay. Um, if they're blinded, can they take an opportunity attack? If, I leave? Uh, if they're blinded? I, I don't think so, because they won't be able to see you leaving. So sneak away. <laughs> and then I'm going to get the fuck away. DMs yeah. in the front say no. <laughs> I feel like we have our own like vetting squad right up front. like to get away uh, towards like downwards as far away as I possibly can. I think that's about as far as your movement will take you. And then I have, actually that's a lie, can I take that back? <laughs> yeah, you haven't moved, you're next to two blinded animals. Oh yeah. Blinded by your talent. Uh, kind of fucked up. I would like to use my Tabasco sauce of fire breathing. Hell yeah! With a bonus action. Um, so, so the drummer boy guzzles hot sauce. Um, Chuggers and unite! Ex exhale fire at a target within 30 feet, forcing a D13 dexterity saving throw. I'm gonna do it to. The rat or the lion? That is the question, isn't it? That is the magical question. <laughs> That's the Make, make a choice. Five, uh, four, three, two. Lion! I'm, ha I'm doing it to the lion. Great, great, great. <laughs> Little drummer boy breathes uh, fire at the lion. Twelve? That fails. All right. So, hold on. I did not prepare D6s because I don't use I D6s. So I need four D6s. Oh, I'll take those Holy two. Holy four? Four D6s. It's like magic right. items are really good or something. Oh, Wild. Shit. I don't like the count. 12 counting. points of damage. Okay. He has one HP. Wow. And he's fucking blind. A scent of smoking, fiery, burning lion fills the arena. And now 
I run the fuck away. Great, 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 great. You have 30 feet of movement? Yes. We're going to say yes. Snake! Birch, what are you doing? At one time, I was Birch. I am now lost <laughs> completely in Snake. <laughs> all I have been is Snake. And all Snake wants to do is eat lion. Yeah! <laughs> what do you guys have against lion? They look delicious. Uh, I am going to roll to constrict. And if necessary, I will use my bardic inspiration. What do I roll for that? I believe uh, it's 1d6. I love that Birch the Snake has become a I method think it's actor. 1d8. 1d8. Oh, the level up! Yes. All right, I might not need it yet. That was a. Appropriate for Las Asimas. 21! To hit? Yes. To, to restrict your lion. Yeah, I mean, you do. Is it against my AC? Yes. Yeah, you do it. All right. Uh, let's see what we do. I wrap my. Ten Not my ten lion friend! The lion. And the lion takes, uh, let's see, 12 plus 4 is 16 bludgeoning damage. He, di he dies, you <laughs> kill it! So you I, watch, you I watch as the boa constrictor it. constricts so hard the lion vanishes from existence. Yeah. I go to swallow it and it turns into mist and I make a disappointed sound. <laughs> I would have loved for you to eat the lion. <laughs> it would have been pretty great. I think it would have been great. <laughs> uh, that is my turn, in fact. Spectacular. Rat King, one lion down. One yeah, they, di one lion barbecued. <laughs> yeah, the other people, they don't know where to go. Both blind. Yeah, they're blind, also blind. Um, uh, can I make a smell check? I'll allow it at disadvantage. Wait, are they both? Oh, wait, no, those are after me, so I'll go first. I'll okay, go you first. go first. What are you going to do? All right, I'm going to start shooting Little Drummer Boy. <laughs> With oh, what? Your gun? Yeah, right. No. Did you have With my before? hand crossbow. Hand crossbow. Cool, cool, cool. Woo, okay. The Rat King is a ranger. Who knew? <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> I fully forgot that. All right, let's see. First one is going to be an 11. Does not um, hit. Um, okay. Next one, 15. Does hit. All righty. So that's going to be... So the Rat King oh. pulls out a crossbow from beneath their very heroically brooding cloak and makes a shot for how much? Three. But I get to do another one because I'm a crossbow expert. Sick. Oh. All right, that one's going to hit as well. That's a 17. Ooh. Nine. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Not very pum 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 of you. <laughs> All right, and then I guess I'm going to make a smell check for my lions and rat. Yeah, make a... Sm uh, we'll call that a DC 15 for each of them if they can determine which direction they should move. Who are you trying to smell? Okay, one of them got a 14, but I don't think I add anything to smell. So. Nope. Straight up. Oh, I got a nat 20. I'm going to count that as my rat, though. Okay. Which direction is your rat running? Uh, towards the snake, which is instinctually bad, but... <laughs> yeah. That's okay, though. It. He's a brave little rat. He's very brave. You he runs right it. at the snake and does what? He's going to try to get him. I am friends with this rat. I was gonna say he goes meow, but rats don't meow. Sure, the rat is flanking, that's fine. Yeah, he's gonna flank. But it is still blind, so all your attacks are also at disadvantage. So it's just a normal attack? Yeah, straight up. All right. Feel an intense kinship with this other tiny being. I, do I don't hit. Period. Great. Oh well, you did good, rats. He was really brave and he walked over there and I'm proud of him for that. Anything else from you, Rat King? Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, I guess my turn's over. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm done. All right. End of round three. Anything else to bring up? Any rewards? Any rewards? Any trades you would like to make with the Booth Boys? <laughs> At this point, he just looks ashamed. Come on. Help the little drummer boy. Help him. Dear God, give him help. 
please. Oh, yes. Yes, good. Yes, good. Yes, good. I promise beef will be consumed next. It's getting, it's getting I was about, I was about to literally get out of line and say, it's going to kill you. I'm ready. I'm so excited. I want to see it. Because otherwise, I will be sad. We're not doing that yet. Not yet, Melissa. I still haven't cast Gideon in my turn anyway. It's okay. If we're in water somehow, I can be an octopus. <laughs> yes! I'm going to do it next time. All righty, that is going to be, well, I'm going to need one boy available. We need a boy. Boy. A boy. Papillon. Any boy. And now it's round four. <laughs> My boys. So, at the top of the round, before anything happens, ah, you all hear what can only be described really as like a rattling, almost as if like cabinets are, are rattling. You know, like as if there were glasses clinking together. Uh, my cool, people. Cool, 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 cool. And then suddenly in the uh, top right corner, a cup appears. And as the cup appears, lightning fills the arena. <laughs> And Birch, for some reason, you find yourself encased in a really cute lightning-proof bubble. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. And that comes with the message, go Birch! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody else is going to need to make me a deck saving throw of 15. That is a uh, 17 for me. Save, you're gonna take half damage. Okie dokie. I'm a halfling. Little drummer boy is rolling roll? with advantage. Oh my God. Fails. It's yes. Rat King. Um, I, it, what, what was the DC? 15. Okay, I did save, but I've also been rolling for my lion. Great. Li okay, lion saved. I'm about to check. Well, the lion can save, but the lion only had one hit point, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that lion's gone. Yeah, it's, it's s absolutely barbecued lion uh, fills the arena. Uh, my rat does not save. Your rat does not save. Great. So, uh, Kaya, you saved, yes? So you're gonna take a whole two points of damage. Woo! Don't worry, my it'll get hair worse. stands on end. Uh, little drummer boy, you did not save, so you're gonna take the full five points of damage. Rat King, you were a save. I was a save. Great, two points of damage for you. And your uh, rat has how many hit points? He has thirty hit points, but he might not exist because I have to roll for concentration. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because you just took damage. He's, oh, he's there. He great, 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 great. All right, you keep track of the rat. He takes a full five points of damage. The lightning vanishes, but the scent of sulfur and fire still lingers in the air. Kaya, oh, it's your turn. Well, 
Uh, there's a snake. Am I flanking with the the rat? <laughs> it is my friend, the rat. Uh, yes, the rat is still flanking. The rat is still my still friend. Exists. All right, first attack against the snake. Um, that's a 27. That absolutely hits. That's minimum damage for six. Woo! Second attack, sa sec second verse, same as the first, points to Little, Drum Little Drummer Boy verses. Uh, that's a um, 24. Also hits. Uh, that is a 10. Nice. Ouch. Uh, bonus action attack, which I entirely forgot I had until this moment. <laughs> I'm really good at this character. Uh, natural 20. Uh, 12. Oh, I burst out of my snake form and I have like a little bit of slit in my iris for a moment as I remember what it was like to just be a snake. But I must return. You cannot be a snake forever. Uh, Birch maybe. is back. Kaya, is that everything from you? That is my turn. Are the shades still on? Say what? What? Sunglasses still there? I, I believe so. I keep yes. all of my Yes, super eyes. cool. They look good. That's one cool motherfucker. <laughs> they look you know? better on your humanoid form than your snake form. You look great. I blush. But that's my turn. <laughs> All right, little drummer boy, there is now a birch visible once again. What would you like to do? We're going to start with this. Hell yeah. Holy shit, yeah, go. <laughs> little drummer chug, boy chug, chugs. Chug, 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 Was that six? Chug, chug, chug. Six, yeah. Six, nice. Six times three is 18. Eight, yeah. Thank you, that's what I thought. Yay for Artback Whiskey! Making the math harder by the minute. And then using a magic item that doesn't say it's like bonus action, it's just an action. Yep. Great. I feel like the Rat King hasn't been hurt enough. I don't think game. that's true. You got hurt too. So uh, I'm gonna use Acme's Instant Anvil. And yes! I'm gonna, hold on. A cartoonishly large anvil can be summoned at will from a pocket dimension and will drop on any space you can see from a great height. <laughs> Make a dexterity saving throw. To be fair, I am the most wily coyote motherfucker <laughs> up here on this table. A dex save? Mm -hmm. All right, it's 21. Well, that saves, so you get half of this damage. You'll okay. notice that Acme is spelled with a K to be legally allowed. That's 12, half of that is 6. All right, sure. As the cartoonishly large anvil falls upon the Rat King, they take 6 points of damage. Yay. Um, and I... <laughs> I'm deciding if I want to be brave or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? Get me as close wait, to that wait, motherfucking wait. rat as possible. Wait, me or the, or the rat? No, 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 you. Oh. You, you cross to the midpoint of the floor. Wonderful. And I'm like, let's dance, motherfucker. Oh. Wait, I thought you drummed. I didn't know you also danced. Uh, I have a background in classical ballet. That's how I'm able to drum. Holy shit, that's so cool, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, drummer boy? Is that it? That is all. All right, Birch. You are no longer a snake. What would you like to do? Well, he'll take a moment to recover, first of all, from not being a snake. It's quite quite a harrowing experience. Uh, and then I'll take a look at Kai, and I'll be like, oh, good to see you again. Hello. Boom. <laughs> and uh, I'll cast Thunder Wave at second level. Yeah. Uh, Love that spell. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and make me a... First there was lightning. Now there's the thunder. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. 
Let's just uh, use this to coin to get advantage. Thank you. You got it. Sorry, I was posing for the camera. <laughs> no, that's fair. You should pose. Okay, con save. Um, does a 15 save? Mates it, beats it, my friends. Hey. Woo! Woo! So you're going to take half damage from Birch's mighty oh, thunder wave. you know, half I'll take the half. Three d8 of thunder damage will be 7 plus 8 is 15 plus... Why do I always have boy. I'm having damage? It's still uh, a lot. Nine damage. That's still a fair amount. You said nine? Yes, nine when it's halved. Great. Ow. Spectacular. Oh, the monk see. reels from thunder. I've still got a bonus action and my movement, but if I move, I think I'll be in a little bit of trouble. So I think I just give you a little bit of a cheeky grin. The confidence is growing, you know? It's nice. This one's a little more like, oh. aren't, I, aren't, I, aren't I a little guy, you know? <laughs> Who it's did that? Was, me. It, was that me? <laughs> was that me? Oh, dear. I am the little uh. guy. <laughs> uh, and that'll be my turn. Fantastic. Now. Rat King. Yeah, all right. You've got a blinded mouse, and you're facing down the little drummer boy and his threat of a dance battle. No fucking way is Rat King gonna dance. He would never ever do that. So he's gonna use Drow Magic and cast Darkness around Drummer Boy. Oh, how big is that darkness? It's a sixty foot range. So he's gonna be dead wow. center of that bad boy. You got it. Uh, well, I really didn't want a uh, spellcaster. I would prefer you not to be casting. Yeah, that'll do. So you know. I we're gonna see. we're gonna approximate Bye, sixty. <laughs> All right, um, oh boy. There you go. It's dark, but now we I still want you to be able to see it. That's ideal. Um, I am gonna scooch down a little bit. I can move thirty feet. I was gonna just get a little closer to that pillar down there. You're gonna go down. Down a little bit. A little bit more. Right there. You got it. Just to, I I'm not where drummer boy remembers. You're kind so. of discreetly hidden behind this column. Yeah, there we go. Great. Um, yeah, that's going to be my turn. Anything from your rat? No, my rat, uh, mm, ooh, yeah, shit, he does go. He is, again, blind. So disadvantage. Straight but, but flanking? So yeah. regular. Regular. <laughs> a 20. Regular yeah, attack. A 30, 20. That I'm is. helping. All right. Um, one D8. Yeah. Uh, eight damage. Ow, Swish. Ow. Eight damage to Birch. Yeah. As your Straight little to me. rat, yeah, I guess bites the shit out of your knee. I don't know. It goes, Ouch. What noise? What does a rat do? Is that what a... You're the rat king. You tell me. I should have Googled what a rat sounds. <laughs> What does the rat say? Gen oh, right. General squeaking noises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that was so bad it knocked my thing off. That's good, that's good. Anything else, Rat King? No, I killed it. Amazing. End of round four. Now, Kaya, you might want to be here for this because this is for you. Once again, a rattling noise fills the arena like a china cabinet uh, clanking together. And as this happens, a little bubble descends around Kaya. Yay. Meanwhile, Aww. everybody else oh. is going to see a little cup appear on the bottom right podium as flames fill the arena. <laughs> everybody else, please make me a, what are the flames? The flames are a strength save. Oh god, no. Of 15. <laughs> flames, flames on the side of my head. Also, this comes with the message, break necks, cash checks, Kaya, and no, you lick my boot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, little drummer boy, did you save? Meets it, beats it? Yes. Meets so it, you're gonna beats it. Woo, you're going to take half damage. Uh, 
16 for me. Uh, that meets it. Or actually, that straight up beats it. Excuse me. You're also going to take half damage. There's my, ah, there's my D10. Rat King? Not even close. Did your I rat make it? Oh, shit. Roll for the rat. How, what? That's fucked up. Yeah, he passes it and I don't. <laughs> All right. Everybody except Kaya is going to take half of nine. Uh, rat King's going to take the full nine. So that puts you at. So that's five, correct? Rounding up? Half of nine is four. Oh, rounding down. Gotcha. Yeah, because you beat it. I'm going to be nice. That's so nice. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I de took that off the wrong person. Please. Uh, reverse, reverse. I'm at 33. Thank you. Sorry, wrong person. And then, what's your six, rat six at, six Rat King? Me. He's at 21. HP. Killing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spectacular. Uh, with that, the flames dissipate and the little cup vanishes from the floor. That is the end of round four, but the beginning of intermission! <laughs> we'll see you back here in about 15 minutes, and when we come back, I better start seeing bodies hit the floor, heroes. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor! Go get more drinks! You can get more drinks made with our bag. You get double the tokens. Trade your tokens with the token boys. We got Papillon and Oso Guapo. I don't know. You're whatever I've decided.
has been drinking our big whiskey. <laughs> Let's once again give it up for our sponsors for this evening. The whole reason you all are able to be here tonight. Our big whiskey, we really appreciate yes. them. Keep drinking those drinks and get double the tokens, double the fun. Now, I have been told, oh, hang on, food delivery to the champ. Nice. Uh, it is the start of round five, and with great trepidation, I'm going to pass over the mic. Uh, ju just, a, just a reminder, folks, that uh, your champions up here uh, do take tips to get magic items. So if you want to tip them uh, so that you get a magic item, uh, if you would like to also tip us to give us a magic item, that's fine. I mean, I don't know. Round five, everybody. Round five. Uh, la Lady Destiny. Nice, 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 nice. Top of round five. Again, is it the flames or is there just other heat happening? Kaya, it's all you. What would you like to do? Top of the round. Give it up for the round boys. Yay, round boys. <laughs> They're not getting paid for this. They're just doing it for the love of the game. Also, also, Guapo, you are once again blocking the camera. There you go. The pecs are amazing, but not in high def. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> there is still a druid in front of me. They don't need to be in high def. Sir. They're big enough as it is, OK? We don't need 3D on the pecs. Uh, and magic items are, are an action or a bonus action? Oh, uh, bonus action. Okay. All right. Well, um, we are going to. Um, yes. We're going to just attack nice. Birch in front of me, flanking with the rat friend. Good on you. Um, that's a 25. Yeah, that'll do it. Where did my d6s go? They're over here. That's 10. Ouch. 10 S points of damage or 10 to hit? Uh, 10 points of damage. Yeah. It was a it. 25 to hit. All right, second attack. Same as the first. Second, <laughs> yep. A little bit harder uh, and a little bit worse. 22. Nice. A second swing with her massive mug. Kaya whacks the shit out of the druid. That is 11 bludgeoning. Woohoo! And I would like to flurry of blows for two more. Ooh. Furious Ooh. fists and a Ooh. fearsome tankard. I don't know. There were, I couldn't pull out another Ooh. app. I'm sorry. I. Oh, shit. It was right there. Right there. That's why he's does the Does a best. 16 hit you? It just hits, yes. Okay. Mother. Damn. Uh, 11 bludgeoning. Hey, I'm all right. It's fine. Ooh, and I don't think the last one hits. That's a, an 11. <laughs> At last, the monk is exhausted from all of this wailing on Birch the Druid with their monk. However, however, I use my flurry of blows, which means I get a free disengage. Great. Where would you like to go with your disengage? Uh... I would like to head to behind uh, the, that sort of smaller pillar uh, to the left. Yeah, there we go. Directions are really helpful. Yes. Great. You disappear sort of behind the columns. Uh, yes, I just, I, yeah, I have 40 feet of movement, so I just want to be like behind there a little bit farther. Uh, I think, is, I think, is that, yeah. it, actually, is that 40 feet you of movement? You want to go further back or further down? Uh, further down. Any further? That's great. Right. Just as much as I can with 40. You got it. Beautiful. Anything else from you, Kaya? No, I think that's me. Thank you. Little drummer boy, you were singed, you were burnt, and now you are hidden in darkness. What would you like to do? I can't see. Okay. You can't um, see for shit. But I can still be heard, right? Yes, you can still be heard. Hey, Rat King. 
What? What's the drummer's favorite Pokemon? Rattata? Yeah. Oh, I nailed it, girl. Oh, uh, I it. And then I cast Hideous Laughter. Oh! With some saving throw. What's the DC? 17. <laughs> I'm going to use one of those. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Wisdom? 22. Then it's, it's a really lame joke. <laughs> I already knew the punchline, so, you know. Ineffective, Tasha, see to see out laughter. Anything else from you, drummer boy? Um, you know, I'm safe in the darkness. Sure. I mean, yeah, that's Sure you are. So I'm just gonna stand there for a little bit. Great. So, little drummer boy, as you cower in the darkness, you hear a growling, a weirdly familiar growling. Hey, it's me, your good friend, Barbara Bear! For anyone who didn't catch that, Barbara the Bear from Little Drummer Boy's Fight appears in the middle of the darkness. This fluffy and yet ferocious, terrifying teddy bear in the darkness with no disadvantage makes an attack on the drummer boy. Oh, yeah. This is what you what? get for killing me with Thunder Wave! I thought we were me too for a second there! <laughs> uh, that's, that, that's an, uh, wait, uh, I know we're in the middle of an attack or whatever, but can I bonus action rage to get advantage? Uh, do something? I know that's not how it works. Just, yeah, just give me, give me advantage and then- You do like, what you want! I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bear, I'm wild shape, and we're doing all kinds of great things! Oh wait, no, I have advantage because you're blind. That's a 16 on the die. 16 on the die. Uh, plus 8 is 23. Yeah, that hits. 24. I feel what so kind of damage dice do you terrain. need for that? Am I a bear? Yeah, you're a bear. Oh my god, you have your... <laughs> Am I a bear? Barbara Bear. How much? Per bear? Per bear. 2d6 plus 4. Hell yeah, I'm going to roll that. So that's a whole 6 plus 4. 10 points of damage from Barbara Bear. Spectacular. I've ever done. Wow. I don't have a jersey for you. No surprise. <laughs> Mine's already off. Uh, Birch, it's your turn. You saw none of that. The audience could see it with their magical vision, but the competitors all just heard weird growling from the darkness. Ooh. The drummer boy just started screaming. What happened? Strange growling noises, but I'm going to choose to think that nothing is wrong. Maybe that's just what Little Drummer Boy likes. Uh, but for now, I take a look at my disengaged friend, the monk. Hi. Uh, who did so, so many truly hits on me. And I say, listen, I have a Ed, great you're respect. still at more HP than I, me. I have a great respect for what you do, <laughs> truly. Um. But, uh, you know, I was looking up at the light of the moon, and I learned this word from Little Drummer Boy. The moon said you're a, a bitch. <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> and I cast... <laughs> As the only femme character, I, I feel offended. Moonbeam at third level. Oh yeah! What was that? Moonbeam at third level. Now you're not going to need to do anything about that for a moment, so don't, don't even worry about it. <laughs> Oh, no. Just real cash. Don't uh, worry about and it. And then um, bonus action. They never said a saber-toothed tiger couldn't play in the championship. So I'm Ah, there we go. Why All right. shape into that? I'm just, just going to drop your moonbeam right over I, there. Now, I think it's five feet, so it's pretty small. Okay, no, I'm going to make your... radius. There you go. I'm yeah. going to make it on a much smaller moonbeam. And a vicious saber-toothed yes. tiger appears where Birch once stood. Giant saber-toothed tiger. I have more sounds this time. 
Cool, cool, cool. So, as you erupt into full tiger form, um, what does that take your hit points to? Oh, I'm looking it up right now, you best believe. Great. That'll be 52 hit points there. 52. Meanwhile, hey, Rat King, just, just quick question. Papillon or Talia? Papillon or Talia? Oh, shit. Ooh, Flavor um, check. Well... <laughs> Papillon does have a shirt on right now, so I might pick Papillon. Hey! So, Birch, as you erupt into Sabertooth Tiger form, where the hell did he go? A <laughs> vicious, furry shifter appears from his job where he was peddling wares, and he suddenly arrives on the floor beside you and does oh. what? Are you gonna hurt me? You're, you're attacking on behalf of the Rat King. On behalf Ooh. of the Rat King. You're okay. Yeah. Well, hello, Bird. <laughs> Let's have some fun. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, where, where's the where's the big green dice? Oh, there we go. Well then. <laughs> so one of the fun things is uh, I, of course, for those that don't know, I am a rabbit shifter barbarian. Uh, <laughs> Another previous champion. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. So we're gonna recklessly attack Birch here. Ah! Woo Thankfully, that was a seven, so like, <laughs> try again. Oh, going that way. <laughs> oh, that is fun. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> hey, everybody. But in fear. What did I just roll? <laughs> Guess who crits on a 19? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine because um, I did switch over to, uh, to also being rogue. So I am attacking with a D8. However you want to do that. Oh, except for one other thing. Oh. Me being rogue, I get sneak attack. <laughs> Yay! How many damage dice am I rolling? A D8 and? 2D6, hell yeah! Birch, this fish, shit yeah! That's 13 points of damage as the bunny does it is a crit. It is a crit. It is, and it's also all psychic damage. Ow. Ooh. My tiger what? is so filled with thoughts that? of a midlife crisis. Maybe he shouldn't have been hunting in the woods his whole life. 26? 26. 26 points of psychic damage because your tiger feels bad about life. Ouch, 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 ouch. Hell yeah. Cool. Uh, 24? Do you have to concentrate on Moonbeam? 26, thank oh, you, yes. math friends. Thank you. And a V much. for funsies. Yeah, it's over me. I want you to not. All right, I need a con save to keep my concentration. I will be using a lot of advantage to keep this, so I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, but that is an 18 plus 2, which is a 20. Hey, and concentration is maintained. Rat King, that was for your benefit, but now it's your turn. What would you like to do? All right, I'm going to walk over to Kaya. And I'm going to give you one of my magic items, because I think you'll be able to use it a little better than me. It's a bomb. Thank you. <laughs> it is not a bomb. It is a, it is a really good thing, I think. Oh, th yeah, yeah, they love it. OK. So I guess what I'm going to do is. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at the saber tooth tiger. Cool. Fucking yeah, that's all I got. With your crossbow. Great. What have you yeah. got against animals? <laughs> Throwing them in the line of fire, attacking them with arrows. <laughs> oh my god. Animals are my whole thing. I love them. <laughs> 18. That will definitely hit. Okay. That's the first one. It's going to be 8 damage. Oh, that one's not going to hit. 
I get a third one. That one's also not going to hit. So just the eight. Great. One crossbow hits. Anything else from you, Rat King? Yeah, my rat's going to go for it as well. Hell yeah. Your rat's going to attempt to bite a tiger. Cool. Oh, rats, go. He's extremely brave. Rats Uh, and tigers. And bears. 13 hits. 13's going to hit. Damn. Okay. Very big tiger. Tigers don't have a lot of armor. All right. It's going to be eight. He bites you. Nine. Sorry. He bites you for nine. Wow. That's a mighty bite out of the tiger. It's a lot of HP in one turn, I'll tell you that. (laughs) Anything else, Rat King? That's it, baby. All right, that is the end. Wait, wait. I think it was down to nine, right? So I'm down to nine. I want to be honest. You're so honest. I got it. I'm drinking whiskey. And round five! Any rewards? Bring them up. We might start getting bodies on the floor soon, so come on up. There we go. Anyone else? Otherwise, five, four, three, two. It is now the beginning of round six. Yay. Round six. No, thank you. Kaya, what would you like to do? Top of the round. You. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, moonbeam. I'm, I'm in a moonbeam. What does that mean? All right, you are going to have to make... That's very true. You need to make a constitution saving throw for me. Okay. DC 15. 15? Well, I'm going to just hand you this. Great, thank you. Excuse me. Uh, let's try this again. Fudge nuggets. Nope, that's a nine. Well, uh, sorry. You know, everyone, we're just going to do it because we're in the second half. Yeah! We everyone, we were cheering for worker solidarity. So pay your workers! Pay your workers! Pay your workers! Woohoo! I'll allow a plus D8 for worker solidarity. Thank you. I don't know if it'll help, because that's... I said that was, what, an... It was a, an 11? It's a 9 on Your die. dice, I don't know. Yeah, it says 9, so that's 11. Roll high. Fif- uh, plus 415? That'll meet it. That'll beat it. Hey! Thank you, workers of the world! Just half damage for you. Uh, that'll be 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 9 is 20. Uh, 10 damage. 10 oh. damage from the moonbeam. Can't stop Ooh. the moonlight, no. Anything? Uh, and now, what are you going to do, Kaya, now that you've been struck by moonlight? Uh, I would like to get out of the moonbeam. Great. Where are you going? I'm just going to hand you these four health potions. Never to look a gift horse in the face. Uh, I will use the magic item gifted to me by whoever gifted a magic item to my friend the Rat King. And I throw a bag of cursed puppy chow at the druid. Throw this bag of dog food at a druid in wild shape. They must make a DC 17 wisdom save to resist eating. Failed saves find themselves compelled to eat the whole bag and lose 20 wild shape HP. If they have less than 20 HP, their wild shape, they instantly drop. Ah, custom magic items. So useful. Objectively, that's just so funny. (laughs) Uh, What kind of saving throw is that again? Wisdom DC 17. Wisdom. Yeah. You're good at those, I know. Oh, I got that. That's fine. Well, 
Here's hoping. That will be a 22. No! Oh. They resist. It well. looks so good, though, but I, I remember at the last moment that I am a cat, not a dog. Uh, a valiant attempt at uh, a magic you know, item there. It is what it is. Uh, well, we'll just try to make you drop wild shape the old-fashioned way. I'm running back to you. <laughs> That's fair. You uh, have 40? Uh, 40, yes. Yep, I should great. be able to get You can right get all the way back to the tiger. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and flanking with my rat friend still. Good luck. Um, that is a, uh, an 18. Does an 18 hit? 18 will hit the tiger. For how many points of damage is you whack him with your flagon? Nine. Nice. Just enough for Birch to drop Wild Shape, revert back to their normal 34. form. 34 points of damage. I still have a second attack. Yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. Ooh, Boise. Nope, that's bad. That's um, a 14. That will not hit the Birch. That's fair. Um, flurry of blood? Can I, do I have bonus action attack? Uh, you already used your bonus okay. action on chugging health potions, so you are out. Nope. That's me then, and bye. <laughs> little drummer boy, you are still clouded in darkness. You have the feeling that little drummer boy, or uh, Rat King was not affected by your joke, and you were mauled by a bear. What would you like to do? This is going terribly for me. Um, I, I would like to run out of the darkness as much as I can. Which direction? Uh, that one. <laughs> Towards the rat. To the left. Great. Sorry, I have to do this the old-fashioned way so I don't grab the darkness. That's really slow. I Shut up. <laughs> there we go. All right, drummer boy. What the hell, bro? It's time to use some of that swords bard shit. I'm sorry, did you say you pull out your sword? My drumsticks. There we I'm go. A, I'm a college of drumming bard. Sure, sure, sure. Your incredibly sharp drumsticks. My, it's bludgeoning damage. Get ready, bud. Oh, okay. Okay. So hold on. This is the part that I have to do math. So I get two attacks because I'm level six now. So one drumstick Ooh. each hand. You whack Rat King up the side of the head. Oh. So that is a. 18 to hit. Fuck, yeah, that one's gonna do it. Let's go! One whack from the Woo! drummer boy. Second, second attack. Second attack. Um, Not as good, I hope. You have some coins. Turn in a coin, roll it again. Um, can I also for this roll? Hey! Everybody's getting their shirt off. You guys know my cheer, don't you? Three, two, one! Yeah. Bitch. Yeah. Yeah, Birch, you're doing great. I'll allow a 1d6. That was not in unison. You know what? Can, so can I add it to my first roll? Yeah. Great, so that's like a 21 to hit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Great, oh. wonderful. And we, okay, let me, let me do the damage first, and then we'll do the other thing. What other thing? You'll see, you'll see. I have concerns. So that's... The math, the math is happening. You're counting in 4-4 four, four time. Okay. And, oh. and we are using a flourish. We're going to use a defensive flourish. It's going to be another D8. So two basically you spin your drumstick like you're in the drum core? Yeah. Great. Uh, to my damage and to my AC. That's just two more of damage, but that brings my AC up to 16. Hell yeah. Anything else, drummer boy? Chug some health potions? I, I choose not violence. 
I will chuck some potions. <laughs> Three health potions down as nine points to the drummer boy. Woo! All right, Birch, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Well, you know, I, Hello. I would love to chuck some potions, honestly. And thanks to my lovely audience, I've got hey. You have so much HP! Chug, 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 chug. Thank you, thank you. I was 60 plus 52 plus what they had plus so many. <laughs> well, I'm up against a monk. What do you expect? All right. Why? That's uh, my bonus action. And uh, the, the spell of Moonbeam says that on my turn, I can use that action to move it up to 60 feet. And I would love to help out my friend, but I need to tend to my own concerns for a moment. So I'm going to move it over to Kaya over here once more. Pow pow. Uh, well, fuck. <laughs> and um, I'm not going to move, so that's going to be my turn. Great. Rat King. Okay. You want to so. dance now? No. Maybe kiss a little? <laughs> I've never been hit on that straightforwardly before. <laughs> Usually the smell turns people off. You've never been with a drummer then. Wow. And the energy gets weird. <laughs> I really like to hit that. Oh. As long as there's consent. I got really so scared well. when Osa Guapo started moving to the front. I was like, what's happening? Um, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is see if my rat's still there. Your rat is hit. still there. It is not being hit on currently. Okay, no, uh, no, my concentration for my rat. Oh, sure, sure, sure. 17, so he's all right. I don't know. How hard did little uh, drummer boy get to you? Where's your concentration at? Uh, it's not gr uh, Oh, shit. Um, uh, um, I'm going to disengage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm going to disengage and go as far as I can. <laughs> North, south, east, Fuck, west. This always it's always happens gonna be, to me. It's going to be uh, straight south if I can. Uh, a little bit east. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's where I want to be. Perfect. Great, great, great. Bottom of the map. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, this, this is awesome. It's going to be really good for you. I can um, tell. <laughs> Just yeah, that was my against game. the wall. Um, it's all and good. I'm pound all these potions, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Runs away and chugs in the corner. I don't know. How many potions is that? It's five. It's my liquid courage, I guess. Uh, my middle school maneuver. Just run. Just run. I Naruto <laughs> ran out of there. Anything else from you, Rat King? Um, my rat's going to do it. Cool. What's your rat going to do? Attack. Of course. Blanking. All right, that's 23. Jesus Christ. He's really it's strong. It's a very strong rat. Yay, rats. Oh, but he only does six damage. No. You have 52 HP. Oh they just chugged so many healing potions. Is that Go the end of your turn, Rat King? Yeah, that's it. Great. So all competitors, at the end of the Rat King's turn, you feel, hmm, not exactly a rumbling of the floor, but the floor, kind of like the energy, gets weird. Shit, it always happens with me. It always gets weird. And I'm going to need all of you to make uh, dexterity saving throws of 17, or you're going to begin to roll towards the center. I see what's happening here. Yeah. The floor is weird and sloping. It's almost cup-like, one might say. I, I spent one as well. Just throw what's, it at me. What's the save again? Damn it. Hey. Another one. 17. 17, heroes. I got an 18, so. Oh, my rat. Kaya. 18. Nice. Kaya saves. Little drummer boy. I failed every time I rolled that. Failed. You're going to move 15 feet towards the center. 
the rat fail. Where there is still a cloud of darkness. Cool. Uh, uh, Birch? Dirty, disgusting 20. Nasty, I love it. Uh, you're fine. Wrecking? 18. Yeah, okay, you're totally safe. Now, here's the thing. Moving forward, any movement not towards the center will be difficult terrain. Oh. I know. And that's the end of round six. Yay. Yay. Bring up your rewards. Bring them up. Trade with the boys. Oh yeah, I don't know why I did that. Here you go, just trade. So, as you all come back in the action, uh, time, time froze for a minute, the floor got weird. And now, once again, there's a weird rattling in the china cabinet. As once again, a bubble forms around Birch. Oh, are I know, you I know, I know, it's such a bummer. Holy Birch is like really popular, it's weird. <laughs> and you know. uh, with that, uh, a little cup appears in the bottom left corner. It's so exciting that we keep hitting ones we haven't hit before. It's very exciting. And as this little goblet appears, an explosion of Lady Destiny colored glitter fills the room. Yeah. Yay. And I'm going to need all of you to make, uh, all of you except Birch, which this Birch would have been fine with anyway, make a wisdom save of 15 as you take, I don't know, psychic damp. S magical force damage I wrote on my sheet from the glitter. <laughs> that's, that's... Glitter is very forceful. Definitely a real thing. Magical force <laughs> glitter damage. And I think we're going to need to start escalating the damage. What do you think? <laughs> that's what I thought. 17. Save. You're going to take half. Fail, 13. All right, uh, hang on, we're gonna go in order. Kaya, with a half save on uh, eight total damage, you're gonna take four, really killing it. Little drummer boy, you said you failed total? All right, a whole eight points of damage to you as glitter rips through your body. Uh, Birch, it's fine, a uh, Rat King. I got uh, a, lo a lot, it was like 23. Okay, cool, so we're gonna, assume, 19, we're gonna assume half damage for you. <laughs> Yeah, it was 23. Oops. Oh, uh, the rat. Everyone's, everyone's points vanish from the board. We no one has help. We all die. Rat King wins. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Uh, and then it's so weird how the bubble like vanishes off of Birch and it just kind of flies over to the Rat King. Oh. I know, I know, oh, God. I know. Also, by the way, I want to say my rat is now gone. And darkness was gone a little bit ago. That's so Oh, great. Cool, 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 cool. Darkness is gone. gone. Rat is gone. So they're gone. 
Had to find the rat. Uh, the rattling of the china cabinet hits again, and oh my gosh, I love this. We're gonna hit all four. Yay! The top left uh, little little uh, <laughs> cup appears, and for this, I'm gonna need the audience's help. Just sound mad at all the heroes for like 10 seconds. Great. So, a confrontation. As, but why? As the booze of the crowd fill your ears, all of you except Rat King take psychic damage. Ow. Uh, make a charisma saving throw of 15. No. And I really like liked the cheer, so I'm gonna triple I? the damage on that. That was great. Good job. Good job, audience. Yay. Great you work, said wisdom audience. save. Uh, charisma, oh, charisma, save. charisma, thank you. I know, I just had to make you use some other stats for once. That's Don't fair. think about it too hard. How many times are we allowed to use advantage coins? As many times as you have coins. Well, we'll try one more time. And you're going to want them because that was 21 points of psychic Jesus. damage. <laughs> All right. Let the bodies hit the floor. 16. 16, you just make it, Kaya. So you're going to take 10 points of damage. <laughs> Little drummer boy. Hater's going to hate it. 17. 10 points of damage to you as well. Oh, Birch is turning in many coins. With my highest roll, that's a 14. Fail! Full 21 points of damage as Birch is knocked down psychically to 25. I might be charming by accident, but it's never on purpose. <laughs> the confidence didn't really work out for that one. The booze really... I'm doubting the Sigma grind set right now, to be oh. honest. <laughs> All right, top of the round, Kaya. Does the moonbeam do? You gotta make me another constitution save. Let's go! You said DC 15? DC 15, of course. Okay. That's a 21. All right. Yes. You're just gonna take half. Uh, a little bit of a low roll this time. 11 plus 3 is 14, so that'll be 7 damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Good for me. All right. Well, hi. Hi. Oh, the crowd will go away. Hang on. There we go. All right. Well, first attack. I assume you are trying to hit Birch with your mug there again? Surprisingly, yes. Is I am this my swinging end? a tankard. That is a natural one, so please take this. <laughs> Since my flanking rat is gone. That's another natural one. So second oh, attack. Here. Oh boy. Um, the second attack is a mod 20. Oh dear. Aww. I don't feel bad. <laughs> um, that is a 10. Huge whack with the flagon. Flurry Are you gonna make another flur attack? Fl flurry of blows. Flurry of blows from the monk. This is what monks are for. This is what you made for, Kaya. 19. 19. That'll, That'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, minimum damage, only six. Ooh. Ow, though. Still, y'all. Second attack. Uh, second bonus attack. Natural 20. <laughs> nice. I'm down. With that, Bert falls prone to the floor. They are knocked out, but they are not out yet. How many hits did you have left there, Kaya? That is all of them. That is all right. that is all of the, the so that is my act. The body of Birch lies at your feet. Anything else you need to do? Um Well, uh mm, nope, because that's my action, my bonus action. Uh I don't suppose I can't use a, a, a an item because that's a bonus nope. action. All right, uh, I'm gonna just run away because I do get a free disengage. Great, yes, well, and and the moonbeam is gone. They're unconscious, so where are you running? Um, uh, I would like to move just directly to the left. Just uh, uh you're only gonna be able to move half your uh oh, distance since you then, are not okay, moving well towards that's center. Still twenty feet. Uh, there you go. That's great. Great. That is my turn. Uh, so as you edge your way along the now rim of the bowing floor, 
There they are. Uh, suddenly, summoned beside you, a frat boy, a wild frat boy, appears on the floor. <laughs> and oh, Jesus. Hey, Chad. H hang on, let me introduce you. Yeah, you can touch it. Give me a second. This comes with the message. I wish I had a better zinger for this. But, Stag, you have summoned a frat boy. Oh, shit, bro! Hey! Hi, Chadriel. What am I supposed to do? Take an attack, Chad. To who? Hi. That one. We were friends once, but no longer. Oh. I am so sad. <laughs> okay. Wait. Bro, wait one second, bro. First, I, I'm like so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. It is not your fault. We are still so workers okay. in solidarity together. Yeah. Oh. Wait, there it goes. Oh, that's a two. That's a two. But I get two attacks, bro. I get two attacks. Okay, my dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that's a nine plus a, does a, does a, does a, does a 12 hit you, my dude? Nope. No. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. You're a waste. Chadriel, I miss you. This is what I get for calling a frat boy to do a villain's job. Get out. No, we can do better than that. Help. Give me the fucking dice. Oh no, a nat 20! And we're gonna do, oh, we'll call it 3d6, as just Lady Destiny boot stomps you uh, for 10 points of damage! Knock my own teeth out. All right. Whatever. No, that's fair. They, I will, they put I in will, a good layer action for that. They get their money's worth. <laughs> All right. Uh, little drummer boy, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Ah, okay. Do I want... I don't know. Okay. Rat King, if you're going to win, which I really hope you don't, it's not going to be with 33 health points. And you Fair, baby. shattered my heart. Oh my so god. So I guess I'm gonna shatter you. And I cast shatter at third level. Hey. So that's gonna be a constitution saving throw. No. Con save? Oh. This is a walking red flag. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> he's wearing red. <laughs> it's a 16. That fails. Hey. So that's gonna be. That's 4d8 of damage. Are you serious? Does anybody have an extra d8? Yeah, I got you. Let's go. 4d8. That one's an eight? Oh, maybe not. Was it coughed? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 19 points of damage. Ooh. Thanks, Bert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! I can't laugh at the Double digits, bitch. Double digits. I think I did that right. Somebody check my math on that. I'm not cool, cool, cool. Do that math. Thanks, Art Bag, for making the math harder. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Then I am uh, just. I'm gonna move closer to the Rat King, just because I don't want that monk coming after me. Do you have a total of 30, uh, 30, 30 feet of movement? So like not. No, no, what's your total? Because oh, it's got to be halved. 25. So you're only going to be able to move 10 feet. Because this is difficult terrain if you're okay. not moving towards the center. Okay, then right, right there will count. Perfect. 
Birch. Hello, Lady Destiny. Hello. Now, I know this is unconventional. Mm -hmm. I know I'm passed out. Yes. I would like to beseech the court mm. to lead the audience in my chant. <laughs> sure. For, for your death save, you may for add your death cheer. death save. All right, everyone, on the count of three, I know it's long. One, two, three. Go, Bert! He's number one! Heel wild shape into champion! Hey! That many words all in unison? You can have one D10. Thank you! I love you all. No matter what happens. <laughs> Let's make this ultra dramatic. That's an 11 on the D20. On the D10, it is three, two, one. That's a six! <laughs> what happens now? Uh, what? How much do I have? No, I mean in terms of action economy. <laughs> Oh dear God! Um. All right. Now. Okay. Now it's. I just. I just gotta take out this monk. This monk is fucking me up. So I'm gonna use my last third level spell slot. Are you moving or are you staying in place? I'm moving. Okay. You can move half your distance. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, no, never mind. To cast Thunder Wave! <laughs> Just in enough distance to cast that Thunder Wave. Uh, make a constitution save and throw for me. Seventeen. That'll save. I don't know if it'll help. Because it's half. 3d8 to thunder damage, everyone. Let's see what happens. 8 plus 10 is 18. Kaya, as your body hits the floor, you also then feel a weird pull around your hips as you are lifted right back up to your feet with one hit point, and a message resonates in your ear. You owe me. Love, Scratch. Uh, and then I use the rest of whatever movement I have to run towards the center. Uh, you, if you used, did you use, I, I had moved you. Did you not want to move at all? I just you wanted to move close enough to get a thunder wave. Well, then you're out of movement. Oh, well, then, uh, let's see. That was my movement. I'll use my bonus action to chug these health potions right here. Yay! I'm still alive. <laughs> Seven hit points on Mighty Birch Seven there. Seven hit points. Woo uh, Rat King. Okay. Help. Yes. Y'all are going to hate me. I'm going to cure wounds at second level. Nice. <laughs> oh, boo, boo. You would do it too, bitch. <laughs> so you touch yourself. but I love it. It's ineffective, but encouraging. I, I heal for 13 hit points. Wow. Holy shit. And I'm going to use my bonus action to put on the sweatband of frost. Nice. Uh, this is a sweatband that turns the tips of my hair frosted. I look incredibly cool. Some would say cool enough to get fire resistance. Oh, so cool. So, uh, so that's cool. going to be my... Oh, I'm going to scooch over into the straight-up corner. Okay. The, the damn corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like over here? Yeah, that looks great. I cool. love that. Perfect. Great. As far from center as you could possibly get. Yep. And I'm done. That's it. Cool. End of round seven? <laughs> Woo! Holy shit. We better have some bodies on the floor soon. Bring up your rewards now. You know lair actions are coming. Help.
Things happen. It's the way the roguelike rumbles. Let the body sit the floor. Let the body sit the floor. Let the body sit the. Ah. So we are now at round eight. I think round seven. I don't know. I lost track. You all have the numbers. You tell me. Is it a six and a nine? Round eight, round eight, clear the floor. <laughs> Jesus. So, at the top of the round, uh, Rat King. Hey, what's up? Um, Holy shit. It's positive, right? It's a good sure, thing. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 to totally positive. It's so cool for you. Um, no, genuinely, this one comes oh. with the message, I love you. As you find yourself compelled towards the center of the floor. Oh. Ah! Meanwhile, everybody else, you're gonna need to roll me some uh, dexterity saving throws. Wait, me too? Difficulty 18. No, everybody else. Everybody I would love to use but my wrecking. jacks of nimble magic item. Uh, 23. 23, that'll save. You are also going to leap towards the center, Kaya. Shit. That was monk shit, not just shit. Sorry, guys. Little drummer boy? 14. 14 is not going to do it. You're going to take some damage, probably. Actually, I tell you what. Yours comes with the message, slay, literally, as you also find yourself compelled towards center. Slay. Lucky you. Birch? I feel myself being compelled toward the center, and I scramble in all of my pockets for my jacks of nimble playing cards. Hell yeah! And as I begin to just fall towards it, I go, ah, ah, bam, and slap it down on the ground, and I get a 24? Nice. I think, I think this will put you all somewhere whereabouts you need to be. As suddenly the warping floor warps a little further and you find yourselves all within <laughs> a gold shining floor. The ground here is very slick, very smooth. Uh, genuinely, you cannot climb the sides. You are, one might say, in a champion's cup. Thank you. I can't be stopped. <laughs> Kaya, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Please take these two health potions. You got it. Well, hi, Birch. Stepping up to you. Uh, it's us again, isn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's always been you and me. <laughs> I almost feel like there's a... Now, I never uh, say this. Modified but 20, <laughs> yes. A, a draw, I feel like you're drawn towards me and I'm drawn towards you. I'm so sorry you're beautiful, but I'm only into women. <laughs> that's so fair. <laughs> uh, but that's me a modified, modified 20 to hit. <laughs> that'll, that'll hit. 10. Ow. Ten damage? Ten damage. With that, Birch falls unconscious once again. Do you have any more hits left? I do. Would you like to take them? Sorry, yep. Yes, I do. Uh, you get to roll with advantage. Anything you hit takes away a death save. Fifteen? That hits. Wait, are you hitting Drummer Boy or are you hitting the corpse of Birch? I... Do you, you want to? No, I'm sorry. I want to get to the to drummer boy. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh. So you're gonna run away from Birch? They're unconscious, yes. Yeah, but do you want to fix that? <laughs> they can't. All right. Fight yes, back. I'm hitting Birch. You're encouraging me. Great. Does, oh, does that's low. There low. goes. There goes a death save. Do you want to hit them again? No, I feel bad. I'm going to drummer boy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I tried. Thank you. You all did this. Uh, all right. 
27. Yeah, that hits, that hits. <laughs> Six. Hey, with that, the little drummer boy falls unconscious. Is that your last hit? That is my last hit. All right. Little drummer boy, you find a weird warm pulling in the center of your chest as you are airlifted to one hit point once again. Happens well, every time. <laughs> oh boy. This one doesn't have a message other than love. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Little drummer boy, you are just barely resurrected. What would you like to do? Hey, buddy. Fuck me up. Or do you? Whatever. I'm, I'm deciding. I'm deciding. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm going to... Hit me, baby. Attack Kaya. Hell Surprising. Yeah. What? <laughs> With what? You're going to hit her with your sticks? With my drumstick. Yeah, that's what we thought. Would anybody like to roll for one of my attacks? Yeah! <laughs> roll away! Take the big green die! Okay, you got it. 17! Plus six. Plus six is 23! That will absolutely hit me. Hell yeah! Any, who wants to, any second? Second hand? Yeah, go! Hey, 12 plus six, six 18. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That'll hit. That'll hit. That'll hit as well. How much damage are we doing on this little drummer, boys? You whack the monk with both your sticks. Disadvantage. I think I already used it. It's over. I've already it's hit over me twice. Yeah, the monk falls unconscious. And you should, you should have seven hit points, right? Oh yes, I gave you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Birch, you're unconscious. Roll for a death save. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, oh, little drummer boy. I'm not done. We're still Excuse going. me. Because we have flourishes and we have a single bardic inspiration next. Ooh. When I would. <laughs> I would like to do slashing. So that's going to be 1d8 extra, and then that d8 is going to go to another target. <laughs> All right, roll, roll your d8. Big money, big money. Fuck it up. Seven points of damage. Woo! So the Rat King somehow takes slashing damage from your sticks. Or are you just like turning around and whacking them? Yeah, I'm just bludgeoning them. All right, cool, cool, cool. Brat. Birch, roll a death save. What am I trying to hit here? If you hit now over a, se uh, excuse me, last time it was 17. If you hit over an 18, you can pop up. Otherwise, it's 10 over a 10. You're stable. Under a 10, it's one against you. Complicated All rules. Right. Don't worry about it. Just um, roll. I've got some advantage tokens, but uh, I feel like we should keep the drama. Three, two, one, here we go. That's a three. Hey, Birch is down. You I gonna roll with advantage? I have an advantage. You have them, you might as well spend them. All right, I don't wanna use, uh, uh no. <laughs> Absolutely, you know what, I'm. <laughs> this is my last advantage token ever. Here we go. Or maybe it's second to last. I don't know. It's the drama. <laughs> That's an 11. <laughs> I'm stable. You're not stable, up. but not awake. You live to see another round, maybe. Rat King, it's all you, baby. My soul observes. It is all me, isn't it? It is. What would you like to do? Avenge me. Alrighty, I'm just going to go ham right now, I guess, on my crossbow. Sweet. Yeah, so I get two attacks. I assume you're shooting the only other person with uh, hit, hit points, yes? Yeah. Great. <laughs> uh, I don't know, you could yeah. hit the body. That's true, I guess. Uh, so that's going to be 15. That hits. It's exactly seven damage. <laughs> with that, the little drummer boy falls to the ground. With three competitors down, it's the Rat King's game. That's it? That's it, baby!
You're inside a giant champion's cup. It's all yours. All right, everyone. I have, I just, I guess I just have a message, really. <laughs> Stick to your strengths. If it's being a coward, it's being a coward, baby. <laughs> you can win being a coward. Give it up for the Rat King! <laughs> Rat King, there is nothing left for it except to present you with the Champion's Cup. Yeah. It's all yours! If I had a mantle in this sewer, it would go on it. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Congratulations, to Rat King. Thank you so much to all of you for being here. Can we give it up for every one of our competitors? We got the Rat King, we got Birch, we got Drummer Boy, and Kaya! I have been your host, Lady Destiny. Can we give it up for the token boys with the most? Papiano yeah. Saguapo. Give it up for Danny with Black Axe Media, who's been keeping us live on Twitch this whole time. I haven't checked the comments. Who knows if we've been rated? I don't. I haven't been checking. Round of applause for our uh, host venue, the Roguelike Tavern. And once more, we would like to give it up for Ardbeg Whiskey, our sponsors for tonight. You all, in case you weren't aware, this is the conclusion of our second season of the Roguelike Rumbles. Yes, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, message uh, John left with me is to one, thank each and every one of you for being here, especially those of you who had never been out to a rumble before, had no idea what you were walking into. You all are the reason we are able to keep these going and we are going to keep these going. There will be a third season coming beginning in March. But in case you run away, Pick Your Poison Production Company is, is our company. That is what we uh, host the Roguelike Rumbles through, as well as many of our other events here at the Tavern. And we have a couple of those coming up. End of this month, we're going to do the Dungeon Descent. And if you've uh, played in those before, usually what we do is we have professional DMs here to run your own Roguelike Rumbles for you. And that's cool. But people keep asking, no, I want to do a dungeon crawl. So this time, we're actually going to do a dungeon crawl. So if you're a forever DM stuck, or you just can never get a DM to run your tables, we'll have DMs for you, and you can come play. Uh, and it'll be somewhat competitive, because it kind of has to be. But it is going to be a dungeon crawl, and you'll be able to reserve your own table to be here for that. And then coming in February, the pub sing is going to return February 11th. Uh, yeah! If you haven't been to one of those before, we do a uh, very nerdy, very dirty musical comedy event. Uh, picture your favorite fantasy tavern come to life. That's what happens. Yes. Ooh. Ah. It's a ton of fun. And of course, because it's going to be Valentine's, it's Valentunes. Ah. So it's going to be extra sexy. Hell yeah. And also in uh, February, we're going to do for the first time ever, uh, last summer at Midsummer Scream, we hosted a panel and did a live horror TTRTPG. Uh, I threw in some extra letters, anyway. Um, it's based on the game Dread, which uses a Jenga tower. When the tower falls, someone dies. So we'll be doing that live here at the Roguelike Tavern for the first time ever, February 28th. Hell yeah, we have some of our uh, Trail Mix 6 in the company here tonight. So uh, we have all kinds of things going on here. The Tavern has events all the time. Follow their page, follow our page. Thank you all again so much for being here. Thank you for getting us through two amazing seasons. Here's for round three. Take care. Have a great night. <laughs>